Every year, wild and wonderful Machnus characters take to the streets of Goway for Halloween and cast their spell on all the onlookers. There's characters like our 15 foot high, 8 year old boy explorer who collects ideas. There's Crom the enormous giant, Lumo who's full of light and joy, and even a dancing elephant called Maya. But this year, we have to do things differently, so the Boy Explorer came up with a brilliant idea of how we can all stay connected. He's inviting you behind the scenes in Machnus Go Away, where today, Machnus mask maker Dave is going to share his secrets on how to make your own mask. Because magic is everywhere. Masks, masks are magic. The parade is all about magic. When you use masks in the parade, you are allowing that magic to come. So that, for example, if you put on a mask of a wolf, you become the wolf. The mask magics you into to being the wolf. Or if you put on the mask of a, of a bird or a, or a clown or whatever, the mask magics that in, in you. Okay, here we are in the, in the Mockness workshop where all the magic happens. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to make a mask of Maya the elephant. And for this we need a, a large sheet of card, some glue, pencil, paper plate, stapler and the scissors. And we start by fold this in half. This will need to be larger than your head so that it, it'll cover your head when it's made. We're going to start at the top. I'm just going to draw the shape of an elephant's head along the card. And then we're, going to, then we're just going to cut it. And because it's folded, it's folded in two and I cut along one side. When I open it out, we'll get the, the, full, the full head of the elephant. So I'm just going to cut it, starting at the bottom. There we have the, the head shape of Maya. What's going to happen is, this will become, the, the eyes will be here, the trunk will be coming off the end, and we'll, we'll put ears on here, and we'll have, to, we'll have two tusks going out the bottom. So the next thing we, we, we do is, when we, when we have the shape of the head, we draw the trunk. For this, I just get an, another piece of card, and then using the back of the scissors, I'm just going to score a kind of a wiggly line down this, this, this piece of card. And then on either side, just follow that line. And then again with the scissors, I'm just going to cut out this, cut out the trunk shape. And then just where I scored, I'm just going to just bend it along that line. So next I'm going to, I'm going to work, on the, work on the eyes, but to make these I'm going to need three pieces of card, a piece of white card, uh, I'm going to use a piece of blue card and a, a piece of black card. So we'll start with the, with the white card, that's just going to cut it, then I'm going to fold it in half, I'm going to draw, draw a nice shape on this. And I'm just going to cut that out. There we have the whites of the eyes. I'm going to take a piece of blue card, again fold it over, and then just cut two round shapes out of that. And just put them there for the front. Black card, again fold it in half, cut out two small circles. put the eyes up, it changes it one way, or if you put the eyes down like that way, you know, that might give you kind of a slightly sad elephant. For example, we could, we could push them in here and it'd be almost like, like a kind of a cross-eyed elephant. And then if you move it out 
and move it out to the end. Gives it, gives it another character or another motion. For, for curling, because I want to get this to curl around, I'm just holding the card between my, the, my, my thumb and the edge of the scissors and then just pulling it, pulling it through and that will that will that, that will give it that will give a curl and that, that'll help for going around the top of the eye. To make the ears I've just taken a, a piece of piece of card and I've folded it in half and I'm just going to stick it in underneath and then just draw roughly draw a shape on here and elephant's ears are kind of like like the shape of Africa. They're just going to fit on there like that. Fold this again so I can cut two, two with the one. Finally, to bring it all together to make it a bit stronger, take a paper plate. That's basically how you how you make Maya. But with the same with those techniques, you you can make a, a many different many different masks. So the, the thing is just to just to play with it, um, have fun, and. Um, don't forget to, to you know, post your pictures online and send, send us your pictures so that, so that we can see them. So thank you very much.